All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Brian. And I'm Mom. And thanks for watching. So, we last left off, we stole the Bloodline Opal. Correct. And now we gotta go try to sell it. All right, so we are in Garrett's apartment right now. Can you move that thing out of my way? This way or that way? Microphone out of my face. It's to the left or to the right? Uh, I'm, I'm good right now. Okay, so anyway, good. we're in Garrett's place, and I'm just going to pick up some goodies to take with us on our next adventure. Yeah. Yeah. There was, a, there was an ordeal going outside right now, huh? Oh, we had some stuff going down today in the neighborhood. Well, what, what was happening? <laughs> well, uh, earlier there was a young oh there was a young man. You don't want to break the okay. no. <laughs> right in front of him. So there was a young man having either a psychotic break due to mental health issues or drugs, but he was losing his shit right in front of our house. And then he took off running, and then his brother came running, and then next thing you know, there's six cop cars in front of the house. Exciting stuff. Never a dull moment. Okay. Nothing, nothing in there. And we're in. I'm at this fountain. I'm going to run the fountain down the alleyway. How's your day? Just ran some errands and that was about it. Wrong way. Of course it is. <laughs> Why would it be the right way? So anyways, how was your day, Mom? It was boring. I was doing today. Just errands? How about you? How was your day? Uh, I had a track meet today. You did? I just ran uh, the one mile. How'd that yep. go? I got 5.13. Nice. Five twelve, five thirteen. What? Was, what position was, did you end up in in that race? Oh my God! So, I I haven't I hadn't ran in like I'd say like five days, and I'm just going into this meet. No, you 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 can just stay in the shadow, pretty much run past him. He's I think he's drunk right now. <laughs> I just did the one mile. I ran with a couple friends from the track club. I I run in. Pretty fun. What could I just find some loot? You gotta get in there. Gotta get in there. Yep. Okay. So, Brian, what time was your track meet? This uh, morning? I had I had to get up. I had to be there at the school by six so we could all carpool over there. What time did you wake up? I woke up at six. Of course, <laughs> or I did. More like five fifty-eight, you know. Haven't you heard? Yeah. Yeah. So. How do I make him stop talking? She was in here with some goons. Asking a bunch of questions about that. He has a weird voice for such a big guy. Yeah. I need some good news, Garrett. I guess before I knew that I'd given him yours. I'm gonna go to Stone Market to meet yeah, go for it. Black Market Bertha. I thought it was Big Bertha. Garrett calls her Big Bertha. Oh, that's where I get it from. Just that's so rude. Later she'll be like, you know, Garrett, you don't have to call me Big. You can <laughs> just did you, you get Big from, you, you, you can you can just call me Bertha. You don't have to call me a Bertha, Big Bertha. <laughs> Remember where to go? No. Back like, to your apartment. We're going back to my apartment? Yes. And then what happens? Because the, cause the route to Stone Market is right next to your apartment, remember? But you gotta wait for those people to talk. We gotta sit through another movie, kinda. Can I get out of the way? Oh. And then when, when they're done spewing their shit all over the ground, you can... Stop it! That's when, when, when they're done babbling on... That's better than you can uh, shoot a little noise maker or whatever. Could be children watching this. Saying bad words. My knife had a stroke that made him talk to Taffer. If you guys didn't know already, I love my mom. <laughs> and, I, and I love you. Don't touch You're me. Good. Does Martin know that you left Henry? To him in your will? Hmm. So I, I wrote a will for a class I'm taking, Perspective on Death and Dying. And in my will, I left my dog to Henry. No. You I mean, your dog to I Henry. got that dog completely backwards. I, I left my dog to my best friend, Martin. Hi, Martin. So congratulations, Martin. Um, hope you like him. He poops everywhere, uh, pees everywhere. So he eats all the time. He, he eats begs. all the time. He begs all the time. He cries. So yeah, good luck, Martin. That's fun. fun. Martin. That's fun. 
Two times. Huh? Huh? Yeah. What was that? Don't walk too quickly. <laughs> This district's known for Congress and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything's locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city. Good landmark day or night. And finally, the stone market plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the city watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. Okay. Let's go find her. Check my map real quick. Oh, you were right there, Mom. So... Do you need your glasses? We're gonna make right turns. We're making right turns. Yep. No. Her name is not Big Bertha, Garrett. You have not even met her yet. You judge her. Are you, are you wrong? Do you remember? You can go that way. Where am I going? To the right. You're making there's, right turns. Oh, there's a doorway. <laughs> you oh. missed it the last time too. I did. We we recorded. Um, what are you doing? Oh. You're filling him up. <laughs> Is that big Bertha? Yeah, right whatever. There? It looks like it's same model. It's the exact same character. It's twin. Does she look big? She is not big. Garrett is rude. <laughs> big Bertha. It's too much for him to handle. <laughs> Don't you just love Henry? Not really. <laughs> yes, Henry is delightful. Hi, Henry. What's up? Are you hungry? I'm going to sip my coffee while we wait. It's almost time for one. Don't make it too noticeable. Why would you the fuck would you do that? Was was that okay? Was that too loud? Oh, uh, even I get annoyed by that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I know how to push your buttons. Cause your buttons are the same as my buttons. Okay, wait. What did they talk about? They're they're gonna break into that place, mom. But he has the map. Go steal it. Go steal it. Go in there. Okay, now we're... Wrong way. The, that way. It's through there. See the little handprint? Does it matter if they see me? No. That again. I'm gonna go to the big hand. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, pest control. Alright. Well, I'm looky lucky. <laughs> well, lucky. That... Wow. Why did they give her that voice? It's re ridiculous. Perry said to expect you. Said you'd have an opal for me. I'm sure we can do business. This is ridiculous. Stop talking now. Waiting to cut it up as a matter of fact. <clears throat> She's with that boy. She is in the wrong business. Okay, what am I doing? Selling it? Oh! This is a <sighs> Give us your best Big Bertha impersonation. No. No. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it for the microphone. No. Read her dialogue. Do it for anyone. I don't even know what happened. What happened? She left us a note, remember? And now we're gonna read it from the Keeper Artemis. And then we gotta go meet how. him. I don't know how. You remember you take a step, Mom. Oh my God, how do I get out of that? Don't. What do you, I do? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You can leave it up there. Don't press I. Okay. Just don't press I. Oh, there you go. Okay. We must speak with you in the Tercis Courtyard in Oh, that's right. Another delightful cutscene. Mm -hmm. He looks very masculine. In this cut, in this little loading screen. That scar on his eye is just. Do you know where that's from? I don't. Um. Do you know? You, do you know how Garrett has a metal eye? He has a mechanical eye. Oh. Because he had it ripped out and replaced with a we mechanical eye. We should play eye. them all again. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Because I, I really want to learn the story. Yeah. Well, I don't okay. know. You're in the right place, dude. But I hear talk. I hear moving. Uh, okay. Cryptic notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. 
The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. Well, that's Keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help. Right. But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them. Hopefully you didn't hear this. You mean steal them. Hear what? Sure these are the only hoops your keeper friends need me to jump through before I am to hear the prophecies. It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... My choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure you can glass of wine. Buddies come through on their Go get one. Uh, uh, I gotta wait for that. Garrett. 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 Okay. For objects, we have to acquire the chalice. We're gonna get the Jack Null's paw. Uh. He has faith in our ability. He has faith in our ability. I mean, well, he course. is a master thief. Well, Been through I three know. games. Okay. You really I forget your maps. Cannot remember anything. Uh. You turned what? around. You were going the right way. Right through there. And that guy's just fat. He does. He's not scary. Stop it. Damn, that's the one. same guy. <laughs> oh my god. They're multiplying. Oh my god. That was scary. Am I gonna go through it that little spot yep. right there? If it weren't for me, you couldn't even be walking on these streets. <laughs> you make the roads themselves. The next thief game after this is super hard. You think so? What is it, thief for? It's just like thief. Thief is just called thief, it's hard. Just thief. Uh, oh, and there's the symbol right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just go right in there. And then watch another cutscene. Surprise, you guys! <sighs> A rod of iron in the flame. It's transfigured and is no more. Thou canst never return unchanged from the forge. I hope the next peepers are asking me to steal it, <laughs> but I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every hammer church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long ago Hammerite hero, Saint Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying instead of looking for sinners to smite. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the right brand of justice. All right. Um, we'll, we'll continue this mission another time. That was just the rundown of the city. Yeah, the, the the mission itself is pretty long, so we're gonna we're gonna break this up for you. All right, cool. See you in a little bit. All right, take care. All right, bye.